to explain it by using an ancient problem that Bitcoin claims to have solved. It's called the Byzantine General's Problem. And until now, it's been unsolvable. The problem goes like this. How do you make absolutely sure that multiple entities, which are separated by distance, are in absolute full agreement before an action is taken? In other words, how can individual parties find a way to guarantee full consensus? Here's the example. Imagine that you are a general in the Byzantine army and you're planning to attack an enemy city. You have the city surrounded by several battalions, each of them camped several miles from the other, and each of them led by another general. A coordinated attack on the city from all sides at the same time will be successful, but an uncoordinated attack will likely end in defeat. You have decided to attack at dawn, but you have no walkie-talkies or cell phones, and signals from flags, torches, or smoke could be seen by the enemy. How do you make sure with absolute certainty that all of the other generals reach consensus and all attack together at dawn? You could send messengers on horseback, but what if one of them is captured or killed before delivering the message? You would need to have a reply from each of your generals confirming that they have received your message, which means that they would have to send messengers to you on horseback, but what if they are captured or killed? What if a messenger is captured by the enemy and an imposter messenger with a fake reply is sent back to you? And how do the other generals know that the messages that they received from you are genuine and haven't been intercepted and altered by the enemy? Worse yet, what if some of the other generals are traitors and they send messages back to you confirming that they will attack at dawn when their true intention is to retreat? How can you ever be absolutely certain that all of your battalions will reach consensus and attack simultaneously? Like I said, this problem has remained unsolved for thousands of years, and at its core, it's all about individual parties being able to trust each other directly, no strings attached. Bitcoin claims to have conquered this problem. Now imagine that the battalions are actually computers on a network, and that the generals are copies of a computer program running a ledger. A ledger that, via some very complex math, records transactions and events in the exact order that they happened. The key here is that all of these ledgers are exactly the same for everyone. As soon as a change is made on one copy of a ledger, if it is proven to be true by the math, all other copies of the ledger are updated to match. What we have here is a distributed ledger that is also always in consensus. This is one of the first things to understand about Bitcoin. It is the first full consensus distributed ledger mankind has ever seen. This network can be expanded across the entire planet. It means that individual parties on opposite sides of the world can come to consensus on an event without requiring any third party as an intermediary for trust. Whether it's an order from a general to his troops or an order from you for a pizza, a distributed ledger confirms via math whether an event is true and records it permanently. Bitcoin, the first full consensus distributed ledger, is a trust machine. But is it 100% reliable? That's a question for later in the episode, but for now, 